Hey guys, it's uh, Koala here, and today um, we're going to be going over a topic that I think needs to be uh, talked about in Advanced Warfare, you know, in any game to be honest, with variant based um, guns or whatever, and does it take away from your skill? And the gameplay you're going to be seeing is Advanced Warfare on... Um, with bio bio labs, me using the Bell 27 base variant, uh, you know, getting a lot of kills. I think I get 30 kills. And the next one is the HBA3 Cowboy uh, on um, Green Band. I get 41 kills. So I um, hope you enjoy the gameplay with the commentary. So I just wanted to talk about this because um, a little backstory. Um, I met my friend Cameron's. We were playing some split screen Call of Duty AW. Um, I was using one of his accounts recently, trying to rank him up. Not this one. This is his Cam Daddy account. So a big prop to Mauchman Gaming. Um, this is his other account. Um, and I was just wondering, really, um, you know, if you know, you know, I was using a uh, Battle 27 Obsidian Steed. That's the only reason I used it. He has the battle royalty. And I said, oh, you know, I was trying to find a groove. I haven't used the battle in a while. I was like, oh, just trying to find the groove with this gun. And I said, once I get the groove, I pretty much have um, the game. I'm pretty much going to be good. And he said, um, he's like, and I don't know, man. It's going to take away from your skill with, like, the other battles and stuff. And personally, I don't think this is true. I think once you get a feel for the guns, because I've been using the base bail for so long, I did have a loyalty, but I got rid of it. I never thought I'd play this game again. Friendly That's a UAV fucking ball. idiot move, but I don't really want to say. Um, it's still the gun. It's just the stats are a little bit different, like in Vance Warfare's case. The Battle 27 Obsidian Steed is the best variant you can get. It has all these really high stats. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. But, as you can see in the gameplay, I'm just murdering people with this thing. Now, mind you, my KD is much higher than a lot of these guys. But still, like, I could have done this in any other environment. There's just no, you just don't lose the skill with the gun. Even though it's like a different variant. And, the argument that you do, I think is... It, it can be true, actually, as well. It's like a, a double-sided... Oh, uh, shit, what is it called? Um, two-sided coin, maybe? I don't fucking really know. But, like, it can. If you use that only that, it will hinder your value with other guns. But I don't think with that gun in general, just with other guns. So say if I use the ASM with Speakeasy, which I just unlocked, guys. Like, literally last week. So say I just use the ASM1 speakeasy. That's all I used. My I have a, the HBR A3 Insanity. I have the Bell. I have the MP11 Goliath. Sten Resistance. Um, same few Lever Action Grit. I have not used that in a while. So we're gonna have to get a gameplay of that too. And just all these other guns and stuff. It's like, will this like if I just use the Bell? Like say I got the Steed. Like tomorrow or something, or today. And I was just like, oh, you know, I'm flipping, I'm tripping balls and shit. Fucking flipping out. And that's all I used. Then, yeah, I probably would get bad. Or, no, yeah. I, like, all I used was the ESM1, but then I went to the bail. I would lose, like, the skill with the ESM1. Not significantly, of course, but there comes to a point where a gun. Like, y you kind of know the inside and out of a gun in a Call of Duty, if that makes any sense. And, you know, kind of backtracking into this, nice like, sense of knowing your gun and knowing, you know, how, how long is the reload, can I get away with this, can I get away with that, what gunfight should I get into, you lose that if you don't play with it for a long time. And then you, you eventually you get it back, you just keep playing, keep playing with the gun. Like, I haven't used the MP11. In so long, I had the Cell 3 Carterizer. I don't use that gun anymore. And is it hindering my playing? 
probably. I've got the lever action grip. I have not used it since the day I've got it. And that gun, the gun is awesome. It is like a two shot kill from any range. It really reminds me of the Shiva, but way better. Yeah, from Black Ops 3. But, does it hinder? Mm, not really. Um, I do say, it, it's like a double sided coin. No, it will not hinder with the gun that you have. But yes, if the variant is good enough, and you just keep using it and using it, don't use any other guns. No, you, you, you're you like, yes, you will lose your ability with other guns. And then you will gain it progressively. Probably over a short period of time, you know, play like uh, four or five games with a gun. You'll get it around your fourth or fifth game. But it will take you time to get back into it. So, my advice, use variety. Um, even with your variant, like variants. The cool thing about Advanced Warfare is you don't have to use the same gun in the same variant. There are so many guns to try out. Even if they're bad, you can just try them out real quick. Oh, okay. And you see, alright, I don't like this one. Alright, this is how I play with this one. Like, my Insanity, I play Domination, I slay. I literally just, I don't go mid. I never go B. I'm always on the outskirt of map. But when I have my SM1, I can push a little bit. Because, you know, I know I have a little higher mobility. Um, and it's a good killing gun. But I know with my HBRA 3s, you're going to see in this, it got more of that pack a punch you know like it's got more killing power it's gonna do more damage over time and you know um, I mean in this gameplay I get 41 kills I got a bunch of UAVs I got two uh, warbirds towards the end of the gameplay of course and two uh, assault drones and usually in team deathmatch, I mean, yeah, this is going to be pretty easy if they're, you know, a trash team. But it, this is a pretty close game. It's 2020 right now. We were up against a pretty good opponent. And, you know, we just pulled it off. We really just pulled it off. I think I struggled at the beginning. I'm not really too sure. I just played this fucking game, too. I should really know. But, anyway, I think... So the argument can go both ways. But here, my tip to avoid it is variety, variety, variety. Use multiple variants on one gun. Use different guns. I mean, if you're comfortable with one gun, use that gun more. But then, you know, switch it up a bit. Uh, you like to use the... Uh, what is it? Um, the SDG Relic. Mouchman uses that a lot. And this is why I think he's a little bit too comfortable with the STG. You know, but no, he... He's Flips it up, you know, he uses the bell. I got him to use the bell, that gun. I think I played a game on his account and I just went 50 and 0 or some shit. Not really 50 and 0, I think it was like 50 and 5. But, you know, I got him into playing and, um, you know, we've been playing on his account, so kudos to him for, uh, you know, having me come over for this break. A lot of content gonna be coming out, um, until my PlayStation comes back when all the content's coming out. Um, I'm going to have the fire, the magma bow guide too, but, you know, I tell them to mix it up a bit, uh, we used both of our ASM1 speakeasies, we were using both our bows for a long time, we were s destroying people last night, I wish I was actually recording stuff, um, but yeah, gun variety is key, it's like a salad, this is as clo closely as possible as I can do it, it's a salad, you don't, if you just get like, lettuce and ranch and croutons every time you're gonna get bored you know like my school has these little pretzel thingies you know there's like seeds uh there's italian uh dressing um chicken you know put some chicken on there spinach put spinach instead of lettuce spinach is so much better for you than that you know it's just variety is key and then you can go back to your roots doing like being stubborn and a creature of habit isn't bad but in all in all it's just not when you when it comes time to use those other things and change your ways you just won't you won't be ready this is not just in video games it's in life too if you're a really stubborn person you don't change your ways you will lag behind you know the world is about change and I think video games should be about you know changing up too so like you know not even just an advanced warfare in black ops 3 uh, it could be anything uh, zombies zombies 
change up the perks you use, change up the bow you use in Dr Eisendrak. You know, like change change stuff up. Change this, change that. Okay, so that is pretty much the end of the video today, but I have a quick few announcements. I have sent to my PlayStation and it will be uh, being repaired um, in the future. So it should be coming home the end of this week. It's Sunday, so the, the, yeah, the end of uh, so when Monday starts, they said either someone, one of the guys said 10 to 17 or 17 days. One guy said 5 to 7. I'm thinking it should be done by at least by next uh, week when I start coming back to school, but that's alright. At least I'll have it. We can start putting videos out on my console and not just Malchman's. Uh, another thing, tell me guys if you would like this below, please. Um, I want to set up a Patreon account. You know, you guys don't have to give us money or we'll do a live stream where you guys can give us some funds or something. I don't really know. Tell us what you guys want us to play. Maybe we'll get it, you know, we'll pick it up. We're definitely going to be playing Advanced Warfare on a live stream. And that, that's 100%. Once I get that PlayStation, expect a live stream. And, um, you know, I was thinking about going into t-shirts because I think we have a lot of good ideas for t-shirts. And, um, I would like to use some of those t-shirt ideas. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Koali Gaming here. And, uh... Like, favorite, subscribe. I gotta get another code for you guys since uh, my No Scope sponsorship is gone. You guys didn't know No Scope is not a company anymore. They closed down. Not a lot of sales. To be honest, it really wasn't a useful product. It just, there's no use for it. To be honest. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye.